good morning good morning good morning i'm just coming here for for a short while i was just in prayer and um i received um requests from people that just re reached out to me and some of the things that people are going through they are really 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 on a bad spot and um some of the situations look ho you know helpless or hopeless um and whilst i was just praying god impressed it on my heart that um actually these people that um contacted me they represent um thousands of other people who are going through very dire situations. And uh, the unfortunate thing is, for most people, they don't even have one person to to call, one person that is crazy enough to believe, to release their faith, and to believe that everything is okay. Um, there was one time when one of our brothers, he was sick and the sister called me and she said that um, if you don't go to visit him today, you may not be able to, to talk to him tomorrow. The situation was really bad. That's how bad the situation was. It was during the time of COVID and he got sick his lungs got affected and he got to a point that he fell into a coma and he was on life support. <laughs> they were even thinking of making a decision because it had been days. He'd been there for days. Um, you know, when we get there, I went with my husband, we drove for like three to four hours. When we got there, you know, there's a, a situation that when you look at the situation with your natural eye, it looks bad. And everything, when we got there, everything around him, it spelled impossible. Even the nurses and the doctors, what they were saying was just, it was bad. And the sister was um, actually preparing for the West. So I called one of, uh, one of these ladies that I know because I knew she knew him. And to, so that we can agree. We can pray and agree. And you know what she said? She said, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I've had so many situations, the very same situations. People that have been in this situation, they don't come out. So I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to waste my time. How many people are going through a situation where people have written you off? They have said, uh, you cannot make it. They do not even want to believe God with you. I'm here for your situation today. I have been sent for you today. God has anointed me today for your situation, your impossible situation. You have overcome by the blood of the lamb, by the word of his test, your testimony, by the word of your testimony and my testimony. I want to testify with you today. I bring you good news today. Whatever it is that uh, is that looks impossible today for you, whether you are sick in your body, whether you're going through chemo, whether the doctors have written you off, whether you have lost your business, maybe you have lost your job. Whatever it is today, I agree with you that it is well. In the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Whatever is contenting with you, I declare, I call on God 
that, O oh Lord, content with them that contend with you. If it's sickness, content with it that contend with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, fight, O oh God. Fight with them. Fight with it that fights with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I call on God for your situation. God arise. May God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that you will not die. I declare into your spirit that you will not die. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in this land of the living. Your life, your sickness is not unto death. I declare that earth will not open up its mouth to receive you before your time. In the mighty name of Jesus, the expectation of the wicked upon your life, upon your destiny, upon your marriage, upon your relationships, upon your children, upon your business, upon your ministry, the expectation of the wicked upon your life, they shall not come to pass. It will not happen. It will not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rise up. I release my faith. I release my faith. I release my faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, I agree with you. You know, I, I just need your yes. The promises of God, they are yes and amen. I just need you to say yes. And I'm saying to you right now, amen. I'm saying to you right now, amen. And especially to those who are not feeling well, to those who are sick, maybe you are on what they call a deathbed. I speak life to you. I speak light into your situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm just going to read from the book of um, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 18. I bring this word to you. It says that, therefore, thus says the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. And then you jump to verse 18, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 18. And your covenant with death. Do you hear that? I'm speaking it into your spirit. I'm declaring this word into your spirit. Your covenant with death shall be dissolved. 